Well, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the long-term wave count for gold, um, long-term Elliott wave count for gold. I um, hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to go through from the weekly chart down through the daily, down through the four-hour chart. Um, we'll try and pick apart the uh, pattern and see what the future holds for the gold market, which I think uh, in general is quite um, promising um, for gold in general. Okay, uh, before I get into the long-term wave count, I want to point you over to bullwaves.org, get over there, check out the blog, um, and if you want uh, weekly updates for for um, gold, Dow Jones, crude oil, and the major US dollar FX markets, get your uh, email address in there. I send out weekly updates to uh, all the um, uh, si uh, all, all who sign up to the uh, email list. Um, without further ado, uh, let's get into this long-term wave count. Alrighty, so the you can see here the all-time high uh, was about the 1900 level. That was the wave three high in brackets. That's what I'm calling a third wave high. Um, off that high in 2011, I believe. Yes, uh, yeah, September 2011. Off that high, we had a corrective move to the downside. I think we can call it a three-wave move uh, with an internal triangle in wave B. And um, most likely a, an ending diagonal wave C. Uh, that reached a low in uh, late uh, late 15 at around $1,040. So off that low, we've had a nice impulsive structure to the upside. And I believe we could be looking at uh, three degrees of one, two waves complete to the upside. Um, so let's get down into the, well, sorry, the before I move down to the four or the daily chart, the targets for uh, long-term targets for gold are at a minimum, well above the 1900 level, up into the uh, $2,000 level, we could be talking, if this is a, an extended fifth wave in, in black, uh, in square brackets there, this is an extended fifth wave, we could be talking about $5,000 gold before this is this bull market is finished. Um, but let's get down to the shorter term chart uh, to kind of uh, pick apart the most recent action. Okay, so the daily chart, let's pull that up and see where we are uh, sitting in within that pattern right now. So that's the wave four, wave C and wave four low uh, back in 2015. Um, off that low, we had a nice impulsive structure to the upside. In wave one, three wave move down in wave two. I think we've got a wave uh, one and two and one and two possibly complete uh, at the recent lows of of the middle of May there, so about the 18th of May. <clears throat> uh, the short-term pattern has yet to be kind of resolved uh, towards the bullish side just yet, but I think the fact that the, the market has pretty much stalled at this lower trend line, uh, trend channel line here, uh, is an in, um, a definite indication that uh, the corrective uh, action is most likely over for now. Um, so. What are the implications of uh, three degrees of one, two patterns to upside? Well, that means that we should see an acceleration phase in prices, uh, at least up to the upper trend channel line. So we're talking about um, 1660 area uh, in a possible third of a third of a third wave. And now that could even carry far higher, uh, depending on the kind of degree of acceleration we get. But I think in the medium term towards the 20, end of 2018, we're looking at an acceleration phase for gold. Uh, so let's go to the four hour chart. You can see that these uh, green labels are complete here. That's the wave one in red, uh, three waves down in wave two. And off that low in uh, 2017, in December 2017, we had a nice impulse pattern to the upside. And since then, we've had a, uh, probably a triple combination or a, a complex flat, depending on how you look at it. Um, that would be, a, if it was, if it was a, complex flat pattern, you'd be talking about three waves down in, up in, in A, three waves up in B, and then a five wave pattern to the downside, which I think we can clearly see five waves down in wave C of two. Um, the, like I said, well, the, the early action in, in the date right now is the 14th of June. The early action is suggesting an acceleration phase has beginning uh, with nice um, up to the upside uh, back into the 1300 area again. Uh, five waves down, possibly complete, with a, uh, a possible impulse wave off the low. Suffice to say that 
we could be moving into an acceleration phase to the upside in gold and it is time to uh, watch out on that front. Okay, so thanks for watching the long term uh, wave count for gold. Uh, be sure to get over to bullwaves.org, uh, get your name on the email list and we'll keep you up to date with the uh, weekly happenings in the gold market. And also be sure to check out the other long term counts which I've posted on both website and uh, YouTube also. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye for now.